Here's the biggest news from last week you probably missed. Hi, I'm John B. I tell you the truth about mortgage and finance, and that's why you follow me. Let's start with the Case Shiller Report. This showed that home prices nationwide continued their downward trend. We posted down about a quarter percent, which was the seventh consecutive monthly drop. However, nationally, we were still up about 3.8% over last year. But even with this slight downturn recently, a new report shows that average home equity is at 71%. That means on average, people that own a home owe a lot less than the house is worth. This is great news for anyone selling in the market, but with prices this high, especially where rates are, affordability is becoming an issue for a lot of buyers. Rates may also be causing sellers to stay put a little longer than usual. New listings in March were down 20% and active inventory was up 60% over last year. But with all the recent buyer activity we've seen in the southern region recently, that may be enough to entice more sellers into this spring market than the rest of the country. We also got some key economic data last week. The first is Core PCE, which tracks the most common goods and services that we pay for in this country. This is a key inflation indicator that the Federal Reserve uses to determine monetary policy. And it showed that prices only went up 0.3% last month, as opposed to 0.5% the previous month. Now, a 0.2% difference may not seem like a lot, but it shows that prices and inflation are increasing slower than expected. That's really good news for the Federal Reserve and for interest rates. Our last GDP measurement also got downgraded to 2.6%. This was due to weaker consumer spending and shows that the economy is starting to slow down a little more than we thought. That means that these Fed rate increases are starting to have their intended effect and that hopefully they'll be able to slow down on future rate increases as expected. But despite this good news, mortgage rates were back up to about 6.5% as the dust settles from all the banking chaos from last month. So that's all for last week, but stay tuned because this week we've got Fed speeches, wage reports, and the unemployment rate coming out. So make sure to follow me and I'll keep you posted.